I, I suppose that uh, I'm, I'm just someone who doesn't take no for an answer. A lot of people think that women are just not cut out for computer science. Well, the simple fact that we used to be quite numerous in computer science goes to show that that's not the case. I'm organizing uh, uh, the main academic content of the data science program, which is supposed to teach students all of the analytical, technical, and contextual societal skills that they'll need for analyzing data and really dictating how we interact with technology in the, in the future. Okay, I'm off to an exam now. My plan was that I would be mainly working with uh, natural language, and it turns out that these same models, these same structures, uh, were taken from linguistics over into computer science. That's where my fascination really started, and I th started to think, uh, maybe computer science could be something for me. Right, so we're off to Nimbusbarken. So I can go and talk at the Dansk Magister's Nytårskur. Um, I'm going to be talking about women in tech, why there aren't women in tech, enough women in tech, and why we're even asking why women should be in tech. That should be obvious. Everyone should be in tech. <laughs> For every presentation, a little bit of medicine. If I should give some advice to a 15-year-old girl who's thinking about it, I don't see many nerds around here. Just, you know, take your interest and go for it, explore it. Because I personally regret not, not having that courage earlier on to just go for what I really wanted to do. Which is, by the way, what I ended up doing in the end.